The average house runs on 100 amp service. Our next machine runs on 1,000 amp service. It'll melt some four inch stainless steel at 55,000 degrees. That's nine times hotter than the sun. It's our plasma cutter. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Vinny Anton. I'm one of the plasma operators here at Yard Metals. And I'm operating a 750 amp plasma. It's kind of a little brother to our newer modern 1000 amp plasma that's down behind us. Uh, this particular machine is about 13 years old. It's one of the first machines, first plasma machines that Yard Metals started with. And um, I'd like to take you through uh, the cutting process on one of our orders here. Uh, this particular customer wants a 3 quarter inch 303 stainless plate. Uh, they want two pieces, 6 and an eighth by 14 and an eighth. And our cut tolerance is plus a quarter minus zero. Our shape library number for this particular shape is, is 0100. We're going to input that. This is, very, this is showing us the shape that we had brought up. Okay, now we have to input our dimensions for our shape. Okay, our first dimension is going to be a lead-in. We have to pierce through our plate away from the lines of the actual piece. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm going to dry run the program without firing the machine and we're going to position the tip on the plate. I'm going to back up my program so now this piece will come out in the corner of the plate. I won't be wasting plate. And what's now on the screen is what the machine's going to actually cut the two pieces. Okay, now we're going to start the program. And then what we have here is, is we have a, a combination of cut water, nitrogen, and electrical current. So what's happening is the cut water is spraying out sort of like a, a garden hose. And it's removing all the debris from the cut path of the, of the torch head. And there's a combination of nitrogen and electrical amp current. As the electrical amp current makes contact with the plate, the nitrogen is forced under pressure in a straight line. That's what keeps the electrical path in a straight cutting path. This is what's forming the straight lines. It's, it's doing the actual cutting. And there we have our piece that was cut. So I actually have six and five sixteenths, so I'm well within tolerance. And I have the same on my length, which is 14 and 5 16 So my piece is well in tolerance. I can start the next piece. Once we're pierced through, the tip begins to travel on the, on the tool path that we have programmed. Uh, this particular machine can cut from 3 16 sheet through one and three quarter inch thick plate. Uh, we can cut stainless steel, carbon steel, and aluminum. Uh, typically the tolerances on our thinner plates from say three sixteenths to about five eighths. We can generally hold an eighth to three sixteenths. Uh, as the thicknesses increase uh, up through one and three quarter, you're looking at about a half inch tolerance. The advantages of cutting underwater our noise reduction, reduced smoke generated by the cut, and low heat distortion on the pieces. And what I have here is two pieces of the same material under the same settings on the machine. This piece was cut underwater, and you can see there's a much coarser, rougher finish on this piece. This piece was cut above water, and there's a much smoother finish on this piece. So generally our plate from one and a quarter thick and higher, we generally cut above the water and we actually produce a better finish on these pieces. It's important that the salesman know that we really can't cut below plus an eighth on some of these pieces. And as the material gets thicker, these tolerances have to open up to, again, plus a half as far as one and three quarters. 